Bourbon Street for a couple nights and uh, we have a balcony view to Bourbon so I thought it would be fun to vlog our experience down there and yeah, see how it goes. I'm going to try vlogging a little bit with my camera and with my phone and we'll see if these clips turn out. So I hope you guys enjoy. We stopped for a restroom break and Steve is inside this gas station. Bentley is just sitting here crying. What's wrong, buddy? Where's your daddy? What's wrong? What do you think about this whole vlogging thing? Hey, do you, are you interested in vlogging? What do you think? You don't seem very excited about it. We are actually getting some food. So Steve wanted to stop at this Chinese place. He actually, fun fact, Steve used to live here. We're both we're both from Michigan. We went to Central Michigan University together and that's how we know each other. But he graduated a year ahead of me and his dad already lived down here in New Orleans. So he moved down here and lived with his dad for a while um, and then when I graduated I actually got a job in Houston so he came to Houston with me but Steve since he lived here has like a lot of places that he likes to go when we visit here since we come frequently so we actually stopped at this Chinese food place oh he's calling me right now hello and probably just like some sweet and sour chicken sweet and sour chicken yeah Okay. Stop. 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 So anyway, Steve wanted to stop at this Chinese food place that he has eaten at before. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pick up some Chinese food. We're going to take it back to his parents and just kind of hang out. We're going to spend the night at their place tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll be down on Bourbon Street. So today is Thursday, December 22nd. It's our second day in New Orleans. And we're currently heading downtown. My in-laws live in New Orleans East, so it's outside of the downtown French Quarter area. So we're gonna head downtown to drop off our luggage and check into our hotel and drive around a little bit. And my other love, my other passion besides makeup is dogs. I'm like obsessed with them. And so I'm obsessed with pit bulls and parolees. And when they first moved to New Orleans from California, I made Steve take me and they were doing like the tours where you could walk in and see the dogs and we actually saw if you watch it Earl he's one of the parolees that works there he's been there for like a really long time we saw him he gave us a tour around but they've actually since closed their doors to outsiders because they had like some people that were just trying to abuse the system or whatever so they had to shut their doors down to tours but I still wanted to drive by and see it and get a little bit of the video clip so I could show you guys but it's actually really close to where um, my in-laws live so I always make Steve take me down there because you love pit bulls and pearlies huh babe? Yeah very much so. Mm -hmm. It's his favorite. <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna drive around a little bit and it's a little bit misty it's not really raining 
it's a little bit misty, but the temperature is nice. It's like 64 right now, so it feels good. It's not too hot. And we're going to drive around and see what we see. They do have, like, you can volunteer to walk the dogs, but they won't let you walk them. There's oh, certain times of day, right and right you right. can't walk them when the um, cast is around. Huh? You can't walk when the cast is around. Well, yeah, that's what I think he's doing right now. He got the, the towel, I mean, the leash he's trying to teach yeah. him how to walk it. So we are here at Pitbulls and Parolis, and this is the building right behind us. There's actually something going on. They don't do the tours anymore when like the cast is around because of all of the media attention from the show, but they do have volunteers who can walk the dogs. And so I think they're having like a volunteer walking session going on right now. But a couple years ago when we did do one of the tours, I remember it was not when they were like in the session filming, um, but Tia and her daughter Mariah were at there and we saw them like working and doing the adoption and stuff so it was really really cool so Steve just got out and he's like talking to them about what they're doing right now but I love pit bulls and parolees I love pit bulls in general it's just really really cool and I think like Tia and her family are just so awesome like Tia is very open about like not being a huge people person and like she just takes her adoptions and rescues so seriously and I think it's so cool that it's like a whole family affair. We're on Canal Street and that's like the main strip. So all of the other streets like Bourbon is off of Canal Street. So they have all kinds of restaurants and stores, all kinds of shopping and the streetcar goes straight down Canal Street as well. And then if you take the streetcar, you can get on St. Charles from here. If you get on the St. Charles streetcar, oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful street. We just took it all the way down one day. We rode it just to ride it. We took it all the way down and it had these beautiful homes. And what is the um, college that's over there? Tulane. Tulane. And Loyola. And Loyola. And so it's just really, it's a, a beautiful street. It's just a beautiful Excuse street. Me, I think it's Xavier. Xavier? I think it's Xavier. Either way, yeah. it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
refer to this church, which is St. Louis Cathedral, as the fairy tale church because it just reminds me of something you would see in a fairy tale. And it's in that movie, what's it called? The The Princess the frog. and the Frog. And that is where Steve proposed to me. Oh, Jackson Brewing Company. That's the ball will drop on top of that building. Then coming up is Bubba Gump Shrimp. And so Steve and I were down here for New Year's and that Jackson Brewing Company is where you can see the ball drop. So we actually came at like, I wanna say it was like five, six, seven-ish and ate dinner at Bubba Gump Shrimp and just sat on the balcony to catch the ball drop. So that was a really good idea because it gets super crowded down here. There it is right there, Bubba Gump. We are currently on our way. Do you remember the name of it? The place we're going? I don't remember the name of it. We're currently on our way to, it's like a pizzeria, but they have the best cookies ever. And pepperoni rolls. And pepperoni rolls. They're so good. So good. And these cookies, they're like, they have all kinds. They have like pistachio, and I like the <laughs> chocolate chip with sea salt. Whew, so good. So we are driving down there right now. We checked into our hotel, but once we checked in, we still have the cars so we're gonna drive around for a little bit. Um, and then my father-in-law will end up having to drop us off because if you stay downtown, you can pay to park, but it's super expensive. Right? Yeah, like that's just ridiculous. So we're gonna take the car while we have it and like drive around a little bit and go to some of our favorite spots that like we would have to drive to. Um, so that we can get dropped off later and then we'll have a couple days downtown without a car. But I'm so excited for these cookies because I love them. This is the place we were talking about. Pizza Delicious. So we're about to get a cookie. We decided to just get some food, so we got two slices, two pizza rolls, and of course, the cookies that I was talking about. Steve got pistachio, and I got two chocolate chip and sea salt. This one is the pistachio, <laughs> and the chocolate chip. Delicious! We are so stuffed now, but like if you're ever in New Orleans and you have a car, this is called the Bywater area. So pizza delicious. Their pizza is obviously delicious, but their garlic knots are really good. Their pizza rolls are really good. And then the sea salt chocolate chip cookie and the pistachio cookie, those are on point. Steve is judging me a little bit because um, I got three cookies. Apparently we're gonna check out the Rusty Rainbow. Never been here before, so let's go. What do you think this is? You can get a workout in. Crescent Park. We've never been here before. But I guess you can like walk each way. This is where we are now, right there. And then Steve said that the river is over here, which is perhaps why it's so foggy. Okay, we gotta go back the other side to the cookie place well but they have the best cookies
Okay, well my camera died, so I'm gonna try to show you guys the room with my phone. Hi, honey. Hello. There's the bathroom. Uh, where's the light though? Woo! Woo! There we go. Shower. Okay. Hands, bed, we have a balcony view to bourbon. Ooh, this is a big, oh, big balcony because we would share it with people. Yes. There is Bourbon Street. We just got back to our hotel and there are people like on the street doing a little show. So I'll show you guys. <laughs> those guys are like always out here we see them every time we come I think um, I don't know about like copyright issues so I think I'm probably gonna have to like turn the song off so that I don't know I don't run into copyright issues and just put like a no copyright sound song in but uh yeah if you're in New Orleans they are always outside the four points where are we what is this called the four points Sheraton that's where they are. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. It's December 23rd. It's the day before Christmas Eve. We're just waking up and um, we're kind of moving a little bit slowly. We went to bed like super late last night. Since we have a balcony view to Bourbon, we were like just out here people watching and stuff. There weren't too, too many people out. It was a Thursday night, but we think tonight's going to be like super popular since it's a Friday night. And actually, um, my sister-in-law, my husband's oldest sister, lives in Houston as well. And um, her and our niece, and our niece has a daughter, they are um, supposed to be coming out to New Orleans tonight as well. And I think they're going to just like crash in our hotel room and... We'll just like hang out and walk around and stuff. And uh, my niece is 24 and her daughter's two and a half. So we'll just kind of walk down with her and, and hang out. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. We wanted to get breakfast. So we came to this place, Cafe Soleil, but they're on their lunch menu. So I still got a crepe. My crepe's gonna come, but it's cute because what street are we on? St. Louis. Um, we took, we're right on, our hotel's on Bourbon, so we took that over to St. Louis, and we're just sitting on the street, and like the horse and carriages are going by and stuff, and just people watching, and we're gonna grab some food, and then I think we're gonna head down to like Jackson Square, and take some pictures and see what's going on down there, and later tonight, or tomorrow morning, I wanna go to Cafe Dumont and get some beignets and hot chocolate. But if you ever go there, I mean, you can wait to sit down. There's usually, like, a pretty long wait. But there's, like, a walk-up section, but it's cash only. But you can walk up and get beignets and hot chocolate to go. So we might end up doing that, too. But for now, we are just people watching. Okay, so there was this guy like in a wheelchair. I don't know if you can see him. He was like going down the street and then all of a sudden there's this little dog in an outfit that was just like running by itself. It looked like, cause he wasn't on a leash and like the guy was in the street but the dog was like on the sidewalk, just running in an outfit. 
only in New Orleans. I got a Nutella and banana crepe. Good. The things you see in New Orleans. I think we're gonna meet up with Steve's dad right now. But we're gonna try to get some video footage of this, uh, these people playing music over here. Steve left me.
which is behind us, and this is Jackson Square. And then I'm gonna flip you around and you'll get to see the Christmas tree that they have up, and then St. Jack, what's it called? Jackson's Brewery and Cafe Dumont. There's the Christmas tree. Dumont. Up and down this strip right here is where you can do the horse and carriage rides. Cafe Dumont time to get some beignets, but like, that's the line back there. <laughs> It's too bright. What is this called? Le bon 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 and it's a bar and sandwich shop. This is like one of the first places that Steve took me when I came down to visit. Awesome music. In it. That's an awesome, yeah. It's just a really good spot to go to. A lot of locals too. There wasn't like a lot of tourist people. And you would think that it's like really dark out because it's late? Nope, it's only 5.30.